life's ether. Uh, Souls of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Black Ops 3? <laughs> Come on, man. No, I don't typically... I mean, I don't know. Do you guys think there's something special about Black Ops 3? It looks kind of crappy, right? I mean, they all look kind of crappy. Dark Moonstones? Dank Moonstones? What is World Tendency? Uh, the short answer of it is that World Tendency is kind of like um, each archstone or each stage of the game has its own kind of tendency. And if, if you do good things, it goes towards white. And if you do bad things, it goes towards black. And pure white gives you certain events and pure black gives you different events. And that's basically how you get all of the secrets in the game. You m manipulate the world tendency. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Original Zoku. Uh, Black Ops Three. Nah. My favorite. Uh, my favorite Call of Duty game was Modern Warfare One. Call of Duty Four. That was a good game. And then Modern Warfare 2 was kind of cool, but it was a little bit crazy, right? Fucking Predator missiles going up your butthole and shit. And noob tubes got out of control. And Scavenger with fucking Claymore camping and with the shotguns. Spaws. The Spaws shotgun. That game got real cheap. But it was still really fun. I liked Call of Duty 4. And I liked Modern Warfare 2. Black Ops 1 had a few things about it that were great, like the replays and the avatars and all that stuff, and the functionality of it was really good, but the game itself was crap. Do you think Demons is better than Dark Souls 2? Mm, did you mean... Oh, sorry, that's not a 2, that's a question mark. <laughs> I thought that was a 2. <clears throat> I need glasses. Do you think Demons is better than Dark Souls? I think that on paper, I've said this a million times, but on paper, Dark Souls 1 is easily the best Souls game. But if, like me, you played Demon Souls when it was brand new, and if, like me, it was a brand new experience for you, like you had never heard of anything like this before, I suspect that you would like uh, Demon Souls the best because it's such an innovative experience. Once you've played Demon Souls, Dark Souls is kind of like, ah, uh, this is what they would have done if they had the resources. But they didn't have the resources yet because no, no one had ever even heard of Demon Souls. And they weren't even planning on releasing it in the US. It was like a miracle that that ever even happened. So, <clears throat> you know, you can see that guy there. You over there, you seem to have you. You have much to gain. So this guy's here now. This is a pure white world tendency event. This guy is a bitch. I am Satsuki. I seek a keepsake of my father. Have you seen the sword inscribed? Makoto, I will offer you demon souls if you can help me find it. So he's trying to get us to find his sword. The Makoto chooses its owner. But he who harbors self-delusion should at once be warned. The Makoto is no sword for the faint of heart. That's okay, Hewitt Nids. I don't really need those souls for anything right now. So he wants us to get this fucking sword. And the way we get the sword is we get it from that area where Patches the Hyena pushed us into a hole. Remember that, that item that we couldn't get? Now that we're in pure white tendency, we can get it. So we gotta go to a different... Uh, archstone. We gotta go to this archstone. What's up, Lord Chat Room? You guys having a good one? Sorry I didn't stream yesterday. I was pretty exhausted. I had a rough flight back, but I'm really happy to be home. I was super homesick yesterday. The time change fucked me up like crazy. It gave me so much time on Monday. 
I fucked up. I thought that it was 1 o'clock when it was 12 o'clock. I got up and then I was just sitting around watching The Price is Right. Can you believe that Drew Carey is the host of The Price is Right and he's not fat anymore? I haven't watched TV in so long. I was like, what the fuck? Detroit is like an alternate universe. Where's Bob Barker and why is Drew Carey skinny? Fucking weird. Ouch. Bitch. So since then, Patches has left the scene. And our item is now going to be on the ground and obtainable. Magic Sword Makoto. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Nexial Binding. Let's Homeward Bone. Or what is it? Dark Sign? Whatever. Hey, what's up, Mr. Fujin? What's up, King Kichawa? Yeah, Bob Barker is alive. That's right. But I didn't know that he wasn't the host. Or maybe I had heard that, but I had never seen it. It's so weird because the, the show still looks very retro. They even use that long, weird penis uh, microphone. But, I mean, the show looks retro, but they give away new shit. And they're not using those same old models, right? They have, like, new, like, attractive female, like, Vanna White ladies. <clears throat> anyway. What the hell was I doing? Oh, yeah, I remember now. So now that I got the sword, I could go back and talk to this guy. The thing is, the interesting thing about this guy's uh, side quest is he asks you for the sword. If you give it to him, he fights you, I think. He, f he like, double-crosses you. And if you don't give it to him, he fights you anyway. So either way, you have to kill him if you want to keep the sword, I guess. Or I guess you could never talk to him again. It's a really peculiar quest, if you ask me. But, let's see what he says. Ah. You have found the Makoto, have you? Bless your good fortune. And, well, your good work. Now, just hand the Makoto over to me. He sounds like he's really, like, you know, up to no good. What on earth is I wrong said with no. you? How dare you waste my precious time? Do you not want demon souls? No. Fine. Have it your way. A duel will settle this. So now we're gonna fight. Had I said okay, we still would have fought. So it doesn't matter. Fucking bitch. One, two barbecue. Damn, he gets fucking stunned like crazy. So he's dead, and no droppings. Pretty crazy. Anyway, I don't think there's any other World Tendency events in this stage. I'm pretty sure that is the only pure white World Tendency event in the stage. And I honestly think it's kind of a peculiar one, because no matter what, you have to end up killing him. I mean, first things first, you have to go get the sword. So that's the only other pure white World Tendency event. But it's pretty peculiar. Anyway, so now we have the, the sword. I mean, that's basically what that was. If you want to use it, you can use it. I don't really like it that much, but some people like it. <clears throat> Yeah, you lose White Tendency for killing him, but after you've picked up the sword, there's nothing else to do with White Tendency in this stage. It's game over, Mr. Fox. Well, at least if there is something, it's really, like, not of, to my, uh, of my concern, I should say. Mm. So now that we did that... We could do the pure black tendency events there. Is there anything interesting? I know there's a primeval demon, but I don't need that. I don't think there's any pure black events that are good, right? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't gotten all the treasures from this area. 
I only killed the boss. I didn't go get the treasures from the other side. Hmm. Maybe we could do that. I think I should take a break, though. It's been... Damn, how long has it been? Four hours, maybe? Has it only been four hours? I think it's been four hours. Give me a minute. Look at some begonias and whatnot. Hang tight, Lord Chatroom. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Lord Chapman. We're gonna go to this, uh, Archstone. Ooh, I might get the, the Gecko's Den. Let's try that. The Crystal Gecko's Nest. I might be able to get that with, uh, the Firestorm spell that I'm using right now. What's up, Darkwing Duck? How's it going, everybody? Up or do we? So let's equip the silver catalyst. And I can do firestorm, so that's pretty good. And this guy. Whoa, watch it, bitch. Damn right, I better one shot these guys. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, there's a fat official here. I don't know how well I'm going to do in terms of damage. That's not that bad, but I would have liked for it to do more, considering... Hey, what's up, R. Smith? Let's go down... Oh, I haven't even gone this way at all. I haven't even gone this way. They gave you all kind of guidance again, because this is the type of area where you usually get lost if you're new. I still get lost, and I'm a fucking professional. I get lost all the time. But I have a really bad memory. Really bad memory. Boom. Smash this bitch. Smack his face. You can see in the distance 
there's a couple of fucking geckos running away, and then two black phantoms emerge. But they're not that buff. They're both carrying... Uh, these guys remind me of the Orma and Reeves knights in Dark Souls 2. I don't know why. <laughs> they just remind me of them. Man, I want to do a strength playthrough of this game again. Who said that? Oh! Night shot? Thanks very much, night shot. Oh my gosh, these guys do no damage. Lord Chatroom, give night shot his fucking hot dogs. Oh, that's a boy and a girl. I never noticed that. Thanks, night shot. Two years. Sorry if that was a auto resubscribe, but. Either way, I appreciate it. Thanks, Night Shot. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna run into the nest, and I'm gonna fucking do a firestorm, and we're gonna get all these geckos. Watch this. We're gonna get this one first. And then boom. And then boom. Come on, boom! How many did we get? Uh, We got two. That's not that good. I kind of fell, like, to the side. But, we could always try again. <clears throat> you can get them all in one shot if you do it just right. Thanks again, Nightshot. I really appreciate that. Anyway, speaking of subscribers, as I was saying. So tomorrow, I'm planning on playing Darksiders 2 again. And I'm also planning on giving away another copy of that game. But this time, I'm going to give away a copy on Xbox One. Ekbok One, aka shittiest console on the planet. Actually, probably not the worst, but it's probably better than the Wii U, right? What do you guys think? Is the Wii U better? Maybe the Wii U is better, probably, because of all the fun games that are on it. Huh. Good point. But, I mean, I don't really like any of those games. I'm not really a big Nintendo fanboy. I mean, I had a Super Nintendo and an N64, but... After they fucked up with the GameCube, I hated the GameCube because it also had Resident Evil 4 on it and Resident Evil 1 and Twin Snakes. All those games made me really dislike the GameCube because there was no reason to buy it other than for those three games, you know? Let's try that again. The Wii U. Yeah, everyone says Wii U sucks. Yeah, I hated GameCube because I didn't want to buy one. I thought it was such a waste of money. I thought the controller was such a piece of shit. It looks like it's ridiculous. I thought that... I was so pissed. I ended up borrowing one from my friend and I played Resident Evil 4 and I played... Uh, uh, what did I play? Resident Evil 4 and Twin Snakes. But I never played Remake. And that's why I ended up falling in love with it when it was re-released recently. I'm super excited for part, uh, zero. Resident Evil Zero. Belches. Eight years. Lord Chat, you know what to do. Thanks very much, Belches. I was saying it earlier, but... I was expecting that I would lose, like, at least 50 subscribers over the weekend because I wasn't able to stream while I was in Detroit. But I only ended up losing 20. Which is great. That's super good if you consider... Uh, how many people, how many people's subscriptions expire every day, you know? So it's really cool. I think it said when I first started streaming that 19 people resubscribed while I was gone. So that's a lot of people. Thanks for uh, subscribing, everybody. And thanks for supporting my stream, even when it's not up. I appreciate that very much. Eternal darkness? I don't know what that is. <coughs> Excuse me. Frog in my throat. I'm gonna go for that gecko's nest again. These things explode if you get too close to them, but you can just run by.
Yumicon was great. I actually was... T I talked about it pretty thoroughly when I um, started streaming. So you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to cut that portion out and upload that to YouTube because so many people are going to ask me how Yumicon was and I really talked about it in detail. Not only just in, about Yumicon as a tournament and the convention, but just the trip in general and my experience in Detroit and just like the food and stuff. I talked about all that stuff in pretty... Uh, pretty good detail actually for a while so if you guys are interested in that keep an eye out I'll upload that for sure to my YouTube channel okay here we go one two three four five that's better than last time right Definitely better than last time. You gotta get him right in the middle. The roll cancel was pretty good too. Nice. Not that I really have to do this. I mean, this game has soul dupe. I mean, uh, item duping. So if you really... I highly recommend that if you really want to enjoy the game, don't really worry too much about the, the uh, upgrade material duping, you know? Because you need to have one to be able to duplicate it, right? And if you can get one, that means you can get more, right? That's the way the game works. If you've gotten to a point where you can obtain one, nine times out of ten, unless it's a pure shard, you can obtain more. It's just a matter of farming, right? So duplicating an item that's an upgrade material, to me, is really no big deal because all you're doing is saving time, you know? But maybe you shouldn't do it the first few playthroughs. I've played this game so many times. I don't really give a shit anymore. This game's awesome anyway. This is like one of the most fucked up parts in your first playthrough because you don't know where anything is. You're fucking lost. You probably are thinking to yourself like, man, I have all these souls. You turn the corner, and there's a fucking exploding jizz thing, and it's like, look at this. I mean, for all you know, this thing's gonna collapse. This, like, mine shaft. Look at out of the darkness, this fucking douchebag comes out of nowhere. Keep in mind, this part of the game is supposed to be, or is doable very, very early. I just haven't done it yet. That's why these guys are weak. I'm going back to get treasure. Are you picking up any new games this month? Dude, are you kidding me? Fallout 4, bro! Fallout 4 is coming out. I'm planning on picking it up this Friday. I have a street pharmacist game vendor that hooks it up. I already pre-ordered it from him while I was streaming earlier today. Anyway, go through the fog door. These new enemies are pretty interesting. These rock worms. Once you pick this up, they ambush you here. They're weak in the weird mouth like if you try and hit those rock worms on any other part it doesn't hurt them much but if you hit them right in the weird mouth that's where they take the most damage you seen this what's this huh cool no but cool care package I'm gonna like that Hey, they changed the way a like looks on Twitter. Did you notice that? A favorite used to be a star, but now it's a heart. What do you guys think about that change? Why didn't they think about that earlier? What are you, retarded? I could have told you that. Why the fuck is a favorite a star? I mean, that's stupid. <laughs> Chunk of sharp stone. There's a merchant down there, too. There's a lot of items here. But anyway, so you see... This guy looks kind of weird, right? This big guy. And then you go down here. This is Patches. Technically, this is the first time you're... Supposed to see him if you go in order. Oh, hello again. But hey, he knows you because you saw him in the shoulder. other side. I didn't mean to do you wrong, really. Oh, I have an idea. 
that treasure over there should be mine. But uh, <laughs> I'll let you have it. I haven't heard this. I promise. No tricks. I won't move a muscle until the treasure's safely in your hands. You can trust me, can't you? I'm just trying to do right and make amends here. Mm -hmm. Shady motherfucker, you know? What's the matter? You're too good for treasure? Uh-oh, my apologies. It's just not your day. As promised, the treasure is all yours. If you survive, that is. Good luck to you. I've never done this. He runs off? That is crazy. I didn't know that that happened. I've never done it like this before. First of all, usually this I've usually by the time I'm here, I have never met him before. So he doesn't have that dialogue. But furthermore, I never walk under and get that treasure. I always walk up here and kill him while he's up here. And then I go back down and talk to him. So I've never seen this. I'm really like pretty amped up. I've never seen this. Wow, I'm doing a ton of damage. So when he dies... He explodes. That shit looks so cool. I really love that effect. Anyway, where does Patches go? I don't even know where Patches went. Where did he go? Oh, he's up there. You! How did you do that? I, I really didn't attempt to fool you. It was just bad luck. And besides, you're safe and sound, right? Worry not, worry not. Here it is, your little treasure, safe and sound. Go on, take it, take it. <laughs> Ring of flame resistance. <laughs> you're simply unlucky. Worry not. Stay by me, and my luck will rub off on you soon enough. <laughs> this guy's cool. You're simply unlucky. So anyway, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Mm, no, I'm not going to kill him. I like him. Mm, oh, we could go up there, I guess. There's more treasures around here. Oh, dude, someone linked in the chat room a link. That's what I was going to talk about. Someone linked the release date for Resident Evil Zero. I'm so excited for that game. I've never played it before. So uh, the link said January 21st, which is not that soon. Uh, but it also showed that they're going to release a disc version of Resident Evil 1 uh, Remake. And it's going to be called Biohazard... Excuse me. Um, Origins? Biohazard Origins. And it's going to... It's going to be Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 1 on one disc. I don't know if it's, if that's Japan only. But it's pretty cool. Hey, what's up Cherry Warrior? Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen it. I mean, I hadn't seen that before. Cannot carry would overburden you. Let's drop some shit that I don't need. Storm ruler, I don't need that. Oh, I don't need this garbage club. Mm, I don't need this long bow. I already have a white bow in stockpile. That's good enough. Oh! Dope. <clears throat> yeah, Dalsim looks great, man. Honestly, Caliber Zero, I'm interested in playing the character myself. Dope. What the fuck is this item that I can't carry? Let's put on the ring of... Herculean strength. Great axe. Great trash. Whoa! Watch it fast. Oh, 
These guys blow up too. But it's not as big. Pick up these treasures. Yeah, Dalsum looks cool. I want to play the character. I want to play the character. He's got a beard, man. I gotta try him out. I always try out Street Fighter characters with a beard first. I tried Gokan, and then I pushed Crouching forward, as I said last time. And as soon as I saw him point to the sky with his foot, I was like, okay, fuck this character. And I tried out uh, again, but then I saw that guy Zian uses him, and I was like, okay, I can't use this character. Uh, <laughs> eyebrows are pretty cool, though. Mm. Anyway, like I said, you gotta go for their bungholes. Their bungholes are on their face. That's their weak spot. The rock worms, that is. And then there's a crystal gecko over here. Nice. Treasure. You can see down there. That's where we're trying to get, but we can't drop down. Shit's gonna kill us. Damn, there's a ton of treasure I still haven't gotten. Alright. Good thing I got that Herculean strength ring. And then these guys are buzzing. <laughs> oh fuck, I forgot he blows up. It's a blow up. Yeah, the, the Yumicon was awesome. Weebucon was awesome. What's up, Sishu? I did enjoy it, actually. I mean, the part that was anime-related, I honestly thought I would have enjoyed it a little more. But I think that the gaming room was amazing. And the people in the gaming room were a lot less weird than the people in the other room. The other room had the weird motherfuckers in it. The room that was like the actual anime room, that room had like high level weirdos. But the gaming room, it was almost like the gaming room would like weed out the max level weirdos and it would like eliminate them. And so the normies were in there. I mean, they're still weird, but just like reasonable levels of weird, not like fucking absurd, you know, get the fuck out of here. You don't, you've never talked to a human before, have you? Levels, you know? This guy's a merchant. He's chilling here. He's very important, actually, because he sells chunks. <laughs> or large shards, Remember I should say. Remember me. Large, I've sharp, and hard ways. stone shards. So bring me plenty of souls. Who said that? Yeah. Java Stout. Smoking on these trees at a hundred degrees. Never touch the breeze. This is sticky green. Leaves ah. back it in the bunk last it long. Have you on fresh, light it up, roll it, pass it around, the scientists have found. Check the rail compound. What the fuck is this guy talking about? Is that the offspring or some shit? Thanks very much. I don't, I don't, I don't listen to the offspring. But thanks, uh, Java Stout. What the hell are you talking about, man? The offspring. Is that your favorite band? Java Stout? These fat guys, you know, they could be trouble. So you gotta get them. Careful not to lock on, because sometimes if you lock on, you could get wrecked. They'll pull you off the cliff, you know? If there's more than one, I should say. When there's only one left, you could lock on. Okay. these guys see how it didn't one shot him because I didn't hit him in the brown eye but if I hit him in the brown eye 
Which is hard to do with a lot of weapons. The Halberd class weapons are good at it. See? 2,228 damage? That's crazy. That's hella damage. Let's see what it does against the body portion. 200 damage. So it went from 200 something damage to 2,000 damage. So obviously those guys are super, super weak in the butthole. And they keep their buttholes on their face. So, just get him right in the face. Who said that? Anyway, give me an ounce of the ginger eel half that unicorn with mad love we could bounce. To that butterfly, make a basket full of cookies. Make you feel like a rookie, make you eat a lot. And maybe go get some nookie around the world on a smoked tour, dabbling. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you a stoner? I'm starting to think that fucking Java Stout is one of those fucking potheads blaze green pot bonus you know what I mean what the hell is he talking about fucking stoners I hate stoners thanks Java I should randomly drug test my mods to make sure that they're not stoners if I find out any of you mods are stoners, I'm coming for you. Like Tony Stewart. After a stoner. Kill this guy. You gotta remember, when these guys die, they explode. So you gotta watch your bunghole. Run! Shit looks so cool. I love the way that looks in this game. Awesome. <laughs> All your mods smoke each other's butt hash. <laughs> You're right about that, Ridui. You're right about that. I cannot argue with facts. I don't think you smoke butt hash, though. In fact, I think if you were to try to light butt hash on fire, you might have a big explosion. Just saying. This area can be really disorienting if you're not an expert like me. But once you get out here, you see it's like super bright. You're down to the lava pool. There's lots of items over there and there's some enemies here, but uh, honestly, there's nothing around here that's even worth half a shit. All this stuff is like either stuff you can get elsewhere or stuff that's not really that useful, at least to me. Uh, you can try it yourself via using flame resistance and just getting wrecked over and over, but... It's not worth it. I don't think there's anything good in there. There might be like a... I, I know there's not a colorless demon soul, but maybe like a stone of ephemeral eyes. But if you think about the idea of this game having duping, then that's another uh, reason to not go there. It's kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I went the right way, though. Let's try going this way. Mm hmm. Oh, nice. At least I got some treasure. Oh, boy. It's the Steve Fox's favorite fucking weapon in the whole game. The Dragon Longsword. Classic Dragon Longsword. Okay, so this is that shit again. What? I went through the wrong door. What you gotta do is... I went through the first door. Which is here. But actually, there's another door, which is here, and that's the one you want to go through. That's how people usually get lost. Over there, there's a couple of geckos, and you could just go in there and firestorm if you want to kill them. It's not that big of a deal. Again, geckos are only, you know, they, they become a little bit less of a, of a big deal if you really consider it, uh, like, if you're going to dupe 
upgrade materials. It's like, whatever, fuck geckos. They sure do piss you off when they disappear, though. Okay, so this is the end. I've already beaten this boss, so it's like there's nothing at the end of this shit. I was just collecting treasures. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see it, but I heard about it, Java Stout. Beal dressed up with a beard. He told me he was going to do it. The Steve Fox was in the chat a minute ago. Or a little while ago. So that's going to cover pretty much... I think pretty much all the treasure in this, in this stage that I missed. Basically, I went the other way last time. Yeah, that's the same thing you did last year. <coughs> Excuse me. How's it going, Lord Chatroom? You guys having a good one today? Big Tuesday? Damn, that's gonna wrap it up for that stage. And all I have left... What is it right now? 340. All I have left is one arch stone. And then I beat the game. I don't think I'm forgetting anything, right? I mean, I've done everything that is... Uh, like of pertinence. Wait a minute, wait a bit. What about Mephistopheles? Oh, I'll do that at the end of the game. Maybe I'll try to do Mephistopheles later because she's going to have me kill everyone. There she is. Mephistopheles is chilling right there. I'm going to do that later. But I'll show you that. Before I do the last boss, I'll do the Mephistopheles uh, side quest shit. But the thing is, this archstone is quite a pain in the ass. It's a really well-designed archstone. And I don't know if I have enough time to do it. Maybe we'll just start it. <clears throat> Let's start it out. I'm gonna have a cough drop. I hope I'm not coming down with something. That would really suck. Just give me a sec. Hmm... It was so cold in Detroit. It wasn't even that cold, but it was cold. <coughs> For a Cali boy like me, it was super cold. What's this? Pre-order Resident Evil Origins collection to get these two delightful bonus costumes. Wow, those bonus costumes look so shitty. Is that Cody? <laughs> I think he's dressed up as Cody. Anyway, whatever. What's up, Lord Chatroom? Sorry, I have a cough drop in my um, mouth, so. I hope I didn't get a cold, but we'll see. Whatever. Even if I did, I'll live. So let's proceed. I'm going to use the EP Rapier now. Who did you kill to get pure black character tendency? I killed a bunch of people. New account. I killed a bunch of people. Tons. I mean, it's this far. By the time you're this far into the game, if you're trying to do tendency events, you have to have killed a bunch of people. I only have one archstone left. So this is basically this game's Blight Town. And the thing about this stage that's really cool <clears throat> is that because I said earlier when I was just starting the game, when I was describing the way it's designed, I was telling you, oh yeah, drop off your shit. Thanks for the tip there. You're totally right about that. Um, anyway, the way the game's designed, at the very beginning of the game, you can travel to any one of the stages and play any of them. So you, there is no first world or last world. They're all independent. Even though if you're like a normal human, you would start here and because you start here, you would think that, okay, this is the second one and this is the third one. The game itself tries to discourage that by making you beat the second world before you can beat the first world. 
It kind of suggests that, right? But let's say you were to still, regardless of that suggestion, persist to uh, complete the game in order, in this order, right? So let's say you killed all these guys, you killed that, this one's broken, you come over here, you finish this area like I have, and now we're going to do the last part of the game, right? If you do that the way I have, the, the interesting thing about the design of that last stage is it still is very perilous for a leveled up character because by this time, if I don't do that stage at all yet, the beginning part of the stage is going to be really difficult. So I'll show you what I mean when we get there. It's really good stage design if you ask me. Pause it, I don't. Damn, I have a ton of stuff. Someone's fucking doing donuts outside and shit. Thanks for reminding me to put this stuff away. I have a ton of it. Makoto, great axe, white bow. Wizard's gloves. Okay. We... <coughs> Excuse me. I hope I'm not getting sick. So, as I was saying, much like right now, I'm pretty over-leveled, right? Like, I'm pretty buff to be doing the first part of the fifth Archstone now. But, the way the game's designed, this stage is really, like, tough to deal with, even if you're leveled up, because you could fall and die, first of all, especially your first time. And the way that the enemy ambushes are set up it can be really tough there's like pincer attacks and just the platforming in general you know in this game it sucks so it's pretty tough you know there's it immediately introduced the concept of a trap to me did you see that immediately it's like okay this is how it works it's a trap then we have these breakable things and we can drop down here keep in mind you can walk up ledges in this game so how the fuck do you do it Oh my god! Can you not walk up that ledge? I think you can. But anyway, get this treasure. Oh, that's where you're supposed to go. Okay. Ouch. So these enemies are not going to be that difficult per se, right? But if they come at you in certain angles and block your pathways, you know, you could get wrecked. And that's definitely going to happen. That's for sure. What's up, Christian B. Monkey? I'm doing great. I'm doing very well. Everything's cool. I just got back from Detroit, Michigan. It was my first time there. I had a really good time at Yubicon. Uh, it's good times. Everything's cool. I'm really looking forward to Fallout 4. It's coming out next week. I pre-ordered my copy today over the phone. Uh, hopefully, I'll get my copy on uh, Friday. And then at the end of this month, uh, the Bloodborne DLC is coming out. You can't slide down in this game? Damn, you can't. That's crazy. This area is crazy because there's so many enemies. They're all over the fucking place. These are dead bodies, I guess. And we have this shit. This introduces the idea of a shortcut that you can push down like that. And then... This guy. Sorry, chat. I gotta pay attention. This part could be pretty fucked up. See? See what I'm talking about? He tried ringing me out. Whoa! Shh. Shut the fuck up. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I went to the American Coney Island. I didn't go to the other one because I didn't have any time, but I ate a lot of good stuff. I think my favorite meal I had there was the Sweet Lorraine's Mac and Cheese. That was hella good. Menstrual Cramps, Jago. Muchos Garcias for the four years. Lord Chatroom. Hot dogs, will ya? Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Jago. Feels like ancient history. Thanks, man. We haven't seen a big boy yet. These are the babies. There's like big boy fucking dredglings or whatever these guys are called. Whoa! 
Poisoned, huh? Poisoned, huh? He tried to kill me. Don't panic about the poison. Okay. Equip. Boom. So, I should tell you that if you are planning on doing this stage early in the game, you definitely should consider doing the Tower of Latria before you do this stage. Because... Oh, fuck. Because this stage has a lot of poison. And without uh, blossoms, you can't uh, really deal with it. And there's no way to avoid the poison either. You'll see later. The design of this stage is kind of bullshit. But it's kind of like Blight Town, you know? So... You definitely are going to want to have some blossoms before you even attempt this stage. You know what I mean? Anyway. <clears throat> so Tower of Latria is where you get all of those blossoms naturally. Just by beating it, you will get all the blossoms you need. Some jizz on the walls. Okay, so look at this bale of hay. This is some fucking Assassin's Creed shit. Look at this big ass bale of hay. Motherfuckers are chilling inside of it. They think they can use the Ezio strats to get out of my fucking sights? I don't think so. I invented that. Man, Assassin's Creed sucks. Junk. And then these guys, these uh, these guys explode when you hit them, and they are also the only enemies in the game that you can farm uh, bloodstone chunks. I think they are. I forget which one they are. They're for the fatal um, upgrading path, and the fatal upgrading path increases your critical damage. So that's what that does. And then we have this old old uh, weird lady with her mouth open. Why is her mouth open? She's ready for a hot dog. Won't you buy something? My poor child is hungry. Where the hell is her poor child? Is, is the child around here or did Curses I just fuck it up? My breath on you. Did that witch send you to torment me? I wonder if he's talk talking about you, Pro Uria or whatever. Or she is. She sells the chain mail, which is pretty cool. Um, she sells the halberd, which is really good. Uh, the talisman of God, you can pick up elsewhere. Halberd is a starting weapon for one of the starting classes. War pick, it's pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. The thing about the war pick that's pretty cool, in fact, you know I'm going to buy it. The thing about the war pick that's pretty what? neat is actually that... Uh, it's got a hammer's move list, but it has piercing damage, thrusting damage. So it's a hammer's move list with thrust damage, which is pretty interesting and unique. Uh, I'm not going to use it, but I just wanted to show you guys that. Oh, this shit is bullshit! I just got the plague. Okay, so curing plague in this game... You have to use a Widow's Lotus. There are very few enemies in the game that cause it. Thanks very much, D Ultima. Muchos Garcias, man. So these rats, they fucking hella cause it. So you gotta watch out. These guys cause plague. The only other guys that I think cause it are... Um, actually, there might be... Oh my god. There might be a couple, but... The, the babies in the end cause it probably a better idea to just kill them all before you use the lotus to cure it. Widow's lotus. That sucks. I only have one left. If I get plagued again, I'm going to get wrecked. Well, two more times, I guess. Hey, what's up, W. Ren? 
I used to really like that show, uh, Ren and Stimpy. When I was a kid, I loved that show. That's a shortcut which I have not unlocked. It's from the other side. And then this is our first big boy. This guy, he's a big motherfucker. He's a huge bitch. That's a huge bitch. Oh, gosh. Careful, you gotta use those iframes. See, even though I'm pretty high level, this, this guy is tough, right? You can imagine how hard this area would be if I didn't... If I didn't have a high uh, damage weapon like this. I mean, this isn't even that high. Technically, by this point, I'm supposed to be fucking destroying these guys. But I didn't make this build correctly because I'm a noob when it comes to magic. If I had a plus 15 halberd and some sticky white stuff, I'd be destroying these losers. The damage output for this is not even close to what I would have gotten with the... <clears throat> whatever it's called. Poison, of course. Have you watched Ash vs. Evil Dead yet? I don't watch movies, man. I think that movies are a primitive form of entertainment, to be honest. I much prefer video games. Uh, and I feel like I've watched so many movies in my life that they're never going to make movies better than the ones that I've already seen. Though, I am going to make an exception for Star Wars. I'll watch Star Wars. But it's only because the same reason why I watched the newest Terminator or, you know, all the other movies that they make that are referencing old movies that I liked. Other than that, I feel like movies are not very good anymore and I don't really watch them very often. Uh, unless there is something that really it's clear that everyone is recommending that I see. Like, for example, I watched Mad Max The Fury Road. I thought that that was a pretty, pretty entertaining movie and, you know... I mean, there are exceptions to the rule, but for the most part, I try to stay away from movies in general. Come on, man. Ow. Fucking squash. The Martian? Never heard of it. Yeah, I liked Fury Road. I thought it was pretty good. It brought some visuals to the table that were very, very unique. And you gotta give it merit for that. Unique visuals and memorable visuals. The guy playing the guitar with the speakers and the flames and shit. The guy's dope. Anyway, here comes the dope boss. Shh. <laughs> Covered in jankum. What is his name? Leechmonger. The music is all fucked up. There are a lot of items in this room, but... Damn, he flings fucking feces at you. Remember that song, uh, Boss, in... Conquers Bad Fur Day, where you shoot toilet paper into his mouth. That's what this reminds me of. Wow, I'm poisoned, I just realized. But I'm doing a ton of damage to him, though. He's dead as a fried chicken. Ouch. See, he's the first boss of this archstone, so he's of course gonna be weak. You're supposed to be able to beat him at a relatively low level. Dead. Kung Fury, yeah, I watched that movie. I thought it was a little bit too hot topicy and a little bit too try hard, if you ask me. Though I did like that arcade machine enemy. That was pretty cool. The robot arcade machine guy. A little bit of Hot Topic is good, but not that much. That was too much Hot Topic. I felt like I was w looking at the t-shirt rack at Hot Topic when I was watching that movie. Hey, 
Hey, what's up, Juliana? How's it going? Did you buy any wall scrolls? Actually, no, I didn't. I mean, the main reason why I didn't buy a wall scroll is mostly because I couldn't bring it back without checking it into some kind of like, you know, like, how was I going to put it on a plane? Wall scrolls are big and they're thin, so I couldn't really carry it on, I don't think. Plus, who gives a shit? I mean, wall scrolls suck. So does anime. You know what I mean? But the convention was really cool, though. Really fun. I shall await thine return. I am. Await thine return. Let's repair my gear. I haven't fucking repaired shit in forever. This is gonna be super expensive. Silver bracelet. Jesus Christ. What's up, everybody? Back in my younger years, I had the strength of an ox. The miners would always ask me to clear out the bear bugs which I puddled with my bare hands. <laughs> but even I couldn't beat them. So I loved them so in the bad bits. <laughs> Pretty strong myself. But even I don't compare to all that. Man's a beast, I tell you. Man must eat dragon tails and wishing stones. <sighs> If you heed my advice, you'll avoid crossing him. I reckon he'd prove a lot more trouble than most demons. <laughs> this game's dope. Deep inside Stonefang Mine is an ancient dragon burial ground. The bones of the dragons exude ore. Deep inside Stonefang No interest, eh? I can tell you're not gonna last long here. He has some pretty cool dialogues. My favorite one is when he talks shit about... I can forge weapon. How he needs your business. No interest, eh? I can tell... Huh? No interest, eh? Why is he only saying that one? Maybe you have to buy something? Hi. Let's try that. Buy item. Oops. You come back alive. I need your business. <laughs> That's a really good one, too. He doesn't give a fuck about your well-being. He cares about your fucking Munani. What time is it? Damn, it's already four. Hey, Lord Chatroom, can you guys give me a count? How long have I been streaming right now? I'm starting to feel it in my bunghole. Thrombosis is kicking in. What's up, Lord Chat? One hour, yeah, right. Five hours and thirty minutes? Yikes. Okay. Uh, I, I want to stream tonight, you know? So, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to call it a stream for now. I'm going to... It's going to take me some time to cut this shit in half so I can, um... Put it on YouTube. But I am putting all this shit on YouTube. So, uh, if you guys are interested in catching any part of this playthrough, I have uploaded all of it up until this point to my YouTube channel, which is Avoiding the Puddle. Um, I'm also going to upload the beginning of today's stream. I really went into detail about my experience at Yumicon and just in Detroit in general, and I talk about the food and some of the other stuff. So, a lot of people are asking me how my trip was, and I am going to talk about it on the podcast this Thursday, but... Uh, I don't know what kind of detail I'll get into, so I'll just post that up on uh, YouTube as well. Um, tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to play tonight. We'll see. Yeah. Excuse me. What is this? Resident Evil Jill Valentine fabric wall scroll. Yeah, I've seen that. It's pretty cool. But I don't think I would uh, I would buy it without seeing it. You know, the quality might be really crappy. What's up, PL? How's it going, man? Lord Carl. Um, anyways. 
Uh, what the hell was I talking about? Podcast tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Thursday. Upload that shit to YouTube. If you guys are curious about my experience in Yumicon, I'm going to definitely upload that to YouTube. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I don't know uh, what I'm going to play tonight. But tomorrow, for my early stream, uh, after I get back to from my mom's house, I'm going there to pick up some uh, big dinners. But after that, I'm going to come back and play Darksiders 2. And I'm also going to give away one copy of Darksiders 2 on Xbox One to a subscriber of this channel. But you have to be watching at the time. So I'm not sure what time. I'll tweet what time I'll stream tomorrow. But during tomorrow's daytime stream, I will give away one code for Xbox One Darksiders 2, the 60 frames per second pimps only edition. So uh, that'll be tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what's going on tonight, but either way, thanks very much, Lord Chatroom, for joining me. Mm, that's going to wrap it up, I guess. Good times. It's nice to be home. I hope I don't get sick. Take it easy, everybody. Enjoy your big dinners. I'll see you later tonight.